Hello guys, today we're going to go ahead and start a new game. And this isn't going to replace our Minecraft series, it's just something else to add in there. It is Factorio version 1.0. And I haven't played this game, but it looked like fun. So we're just going to go right into it in a single player world. Go ahead and press new game. I think we are going to go ahead and do the tutorial, right? Let's go ahead and play the tutorial. Why not? Okay, so it looks like we have different kinds of minerals here. Let's see, that escape pod saved my life. I am afraid the others were not so lucky. This window will occasionally pause the game and it give you some hints. You can continue the game by pressing tab. You can always find the current objective in this window. Use the keys to move around. Cool. I wonder if I could use something from the escape pod. Move the iron gear wheels from the escape pod to your inventory. Here we go. Close the character screen by pressing E. Alright. There's nothing else here. I'll have to make some simple tools myself. That looks like iron over there. It's probably this, yeah. Okay. When you hover over an entity, use detailed information appears in its little tip here. Alright, mine, iron ore, hold the right mouse button. Let's check it out. Two out of five, three out of five. So iron ore deposit, a raw material that can be smelted into iron plates. If only I could smelt this iron somehow. Craft a stone furnace, press E and check your crafting menu. Right. On the right hand side is your crafting menu, on the recipe, we'll craft. Okay, the depicted item, All right, tap. When you hover over a recipe, you will be shown which ingredients are needed. So we need a stone furnace. So it looks like we need five stone and let's see the stone furnace smelts raw materials into their smelted products consumes burnable fuel all right so let's see can we just come over here and mine this rock nope no that's tree no that's not what we need let's see Crafty stone furnace, let's press it one more time. Let's see what we need. Five stone. Alright, where can we find some stone? Is this stone over here? Shipwreck. Oh, it looks like it's this over here. Yeah. Stone deposit. I thought this would have been like copper or something. Alright, we'll go ahead and grab five of this. And is that five? Six. Okay. This is your crafting queue. Click on an item in the queue if you want to cancel it. All right, so there it goes. Select the stone furnace and build it on the ground near you by pressing left mouse button. The indicator will appear green if building is possible. All right, all right. So can I like exit out of this? Oh, I can, okay. Get to that. Cool. So looks like we need power. That was a piece of cake. Open the surface. Oh, open the furnace by pressing the left mouse button. Put iron ore in the resource slot. Put fuel in the stone furnace. You can use coal or wood, which you can mine nearby. Is this coal? Yep. We'll grab a couple of this too. We'll just grab half of it since I don't know what the ratio is. Four and five, or six, I guess. 
The stone furnace is now smelting the iron ore into plates. Good to know. And there's that. I feel quite tired from all this mining. I wonder if it could be auto automated. Can it? Take this melted iron plates from the stone furnace. Craft a burner mining trail. Alright, so that's gonna be in here, right? And it looks like to build this, we need three iron plates, three iron gear wheels, and one stone furnace. Let's see. So we need five more stone, right? Let's go ahead and get that. I like this game so far. It's pretty nice. All right, can we go ahead and build that? What are we missing? Oh, no, it's going. It's queuing up. All right, cool. So it looks like we can grab the next deposit and add the burner mining drill to the quick bar at the bottom of the screen. So we can do that. Build the burner mining drill on the ground near the near the deposit. Or over a deposit. Whatever you want. More iron? Sounds about right. Put some fuel in the burner. Okay. Does it still stay down here? I wonder why that stays down there. We don't need it anymore. Can I... Alright, maybe it'll let us know in a bit. Let's go ahead and gather some. And run back over. Put this in the fuel slot. And there it goes. It's pretty quick. It's working, it's working. <coughs> Alright. The mining drill drops mined or the mining drill drops mined resources in front of it. Okay. Do we have to pick that up? All right. It could build something here to collect, or I could build something here to collect the resources from the mining drill. <coughs> Craft the wooden chest. Let's see, it's gonna be in here. Looks like we need two wood. Let's come over here and cut that down. Four wood. So that we went ahead and made one of them, and all right, looks like that connects. Great, I learned something new today. Wait until at least four items are in the wooden chest. Take all items from the wooden chest. Okay. Let's go ahead and come in here. Take that. Now what? I should spend some time exploring this new strange place. Cool, game finished. Alright, looks like we're gonna get a run through of everything. This looks like an abandoned mining site. I wonder what the robotic arm is for. This machine is out of fuel. Okay. Open the burner. Inserter, press left mouse button. Do you does it want all this? It looks like we can grab halves the same way we do that in Minecraft. Oh, in here, down to the chest. Hover over an inserter to see which direction it will move items. I see it has a little arrow. Let's see, they can insert items into or unload items from structures, belts, and containers. So, looks like this is moving into the boat. Oh. Take all the items from the iron chest. Looks like we can shift everything into the inventory as well. Close the character screen, press E. This may be of some use. What was that? It sounded like footsteps. Enemies? 
When enemies are close, you can fire at them by holding spacebar. The enemy closest to the cursor will be shot. What? Kill the approaching creatures before they get to you. Fire by holding spacebar. Oh shoot. Phew, they're dead. But there might be more coming. I better get production here working and prepare myself. The second burner inserter is reversed. Rotate the inserter by pressing R while hovering the cursor over it so that it puts the iron ore into the stone furnace. Okay. So, let's see. I'm not sure what this means. Oh, I see. There we go. When building a structure, press R to rotate before building. Alright, so I can't rotate it now. Okay. I want to generate electricity, but first we need some basic resources. Alright. Burner mining drill, 4 out of 10. Stone furnace is 1 out of 5. Burner mining drill. So, I guess it's in here, right? So let's see what it wants. Burning, mining drill. Three iron plates, three iron reels, and stuff. So is this just going into here? Here are our iron plates. Okay, how come oh, these need fuel? Are these broken? Alright, so it looks like... What does this do? It gives us iron. Alright, let's go ahead and just do this by hand real quick. Come up here and throw our iron into there. We need more of those, right? Let's just gather this real quick. Alright, so I went ahead and automated the stuff we have here. We have our, what are these called? Burning mining drills, going for the iron, putting it on a conveyor belt and feeding it into a furnace. We have this just mining the stone and placing it into a chest behind it. And these two are what are mining our coal for the power that we're using. And everything's being deposited straight into a chest over here. So now, let's see, let's go ahead and grab all that. Burning mining drill 4 out of 10. So let's go ahead and continue making these. We are going to need 5 of or 4 more stone furnaces. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's go ahead and place those down. Can I go ahead and just put that down there? Alright, so. I don't know where we're gonna put these, but let's just set them down. There we go. There's five of those, and then burner mining drills. So we need these gears. How many more do we need of those? Six more. And each of them requires three. So it looks like we're gonna need 18 more of those. Let's go back in here. Alright, how do I... Oops. How do I pick which one I want? I'm sure there's a way, right? That I can just pick what I'm... How many of these I want to craft. I think I just crafted more than I needed. Alright, and... We are still gonna need plates. Cool. What else are we gonna need for there? A stone furnace. So go ahead and. Oh no, we need those down. Alright, let's put these back down then. And then just come back over here and grab more stone. So one, two. I think we're gonna wanna make all that we can. 
can go ahead and make one of those. Can we make more of these little arms? Transport about now. Yes, here we go. Let's do this. So we're gonna want all of these. And just like this, right? Bam. Alright, so there's that. Put that back over here. And we're gonna want a little arm. So that's this one here. Yeah. So we have two of them. So we want it to go like this. Spill that and then spill that. And go ahead and put some iron or some coal in there. Alright, cool. So that looks like the setup so far. So then one more of these to complete that side of the quest. Alright, and it looks like we're just gonna let this do its thing until we get enough of the resources to build our burger mining drills. Okay, so we are... Okay, so here we are, placing our last one of the burning mining drills that we need to complete this. So we just go ahead and put it right there. And there we go. If I connect it all correctly, I should be able to get the resources needed for electric power soon. I'm going to need a lot of resources if I want to start some serious expansion. Alright, have resources in your inventory, 150 iron plates, 50 copper plates, and 75 coal. I'm guessing this is our iron over here, or our, coal, our copper I mean. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started on that. Alright, so we just went ahead and got everything we needed. So, we're getting those props. Phew, that was some hard work. I have everything I need now. It's time to move on. Alright, so let's go ahead and go on to the next level. Okay, I could use some equipment from our crash ship, but first I need to locate it. If I had enough electricity, I could build a radar to locate the trash site. I have the electricity test set up almost ready. I just need some water from the lake. Build an offshore pump at the edge of the water for our objective. So let's see what we need for that. Offshore pump. Where is that? Is this it? No, it's a boiler, steam engine, offshore pump. Or oh, we can already make one of those. No, it looks like we want it right here. So let's go ahead and. Oops. Looks like we're gonna want it right there and build pipes to get the water from the offshore pump into the boiler. So it looks like we just need one. There we go. Put some fuel into the boiler to produce steam. So that. Build pipes to connect the steam output to the steam engine. Alright, where do these pipes connect to though? I'm not too sure. Is it over here on the sides right here? Let's just go ahead and build some, see what happens. Let's go ahead and build four. Alright, so it looks like... Okay, it cannot connect systems with different fluids. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Take that out, grab these back, reconnect to the front, do we need more pipes? Nothing. Where does it want us to connect this into? Consumes steam to create electric energy. Build pipes to connect the steam output 
to the steam engine. Where's the connect? Where's the... Oh man. Okay. Okay, where's the input in here? That's what I want to know. Let's try connecting it to the other side. Let's just build the rest of those that we can. Alright, looks like we can do that that way. Cannot connect systems with different fluids. Oh, is it wanting... Is this where it is? Ah, that makes a lot more sense. So why... Alright, well there's that. I don't know why there's two sides to it though. Good, the steam engine is now producing electricity. Connect the electric mining drill to the steam engine using small electric poles. Let's see, it's gonna be these, right? Not enough ingredients, we need some wood. Let's not go too far. Let's go ahead and do that. And that should be enough. Let's go back in here. I don't know how many of these we're gonna need. Where are we gonna connect the output from though? That's what I wanna. Let's see, available power. Let's try doing this. Okay, so that's how this is gonna work. Oh, and I see whatever is in the radio, this blue thing is what provides power to it. So if I, if I just come straight across, bam. There we go. And now we want some power for this thing too. So we can go ahead and do that as well. Oops, not what I wanted. So it looks like, bam. Okay, gather resources and build radars. Zero out of three radars. Let's see what we need to build radars. Electric mining drill, offshore pump, stone furnace, assembly machine, radar, here we go. All right, so we need 10 iron plates, five iron gear wheels, and five electronic circuits. Those are new. Those require 25 iron plates and 7.5 copper plates a piece. Yep. So we're going to go ahead and set up drills here and get that done. Alright, so after setting up our base a bit, getting all our resources mined up and going into furnaces, we have enough to build our three radars that we need. So one, two, and three. We'll let those gather up. I don't know if you can see some bodies here. They mess with the wrong person. Yep. So down here we can see... Oh! I did build a submachine gun too. Just needed some 30 iron plates and 5 copper plates to build. Is that it? Alright. Don't know who he was trying to hurt. Okay, so it looks like we got our three radars done. Let's go ahead and set those up. So let's see. How can we set these up? Do they need to do they need to be set up in like a certain location? Okay, looks like they don't. The radars scan the surroundings. The more of them you have, the faster you'll be able to locate the shipwreck. Looks like they do need power though. So let's go ahead and bring those back in. Grab them and put them where they can actually grab power. Radars consume a lot of electricity. Make sure energy production is sufficient. It should be, right? The enemies might attack your radars, you might want to protect them with gun turrets. Gun turrets? Let's take a look, what are those? Here we go, gun turrets. Looks like we can make a couple of these. One of them, right? Use radars to scan the surrounding territory. Zero out of fifty, so... 
scanning progress. Oh, you can see the little bar, the green bar at the right, showing how much it needs, how many, how much time it needs to scan, right? So we'll just wait until the first scanning goes through and make sure that counts. It does. So two out of fifty. So we're just gonna go ahead and keep waiting and wait until that turns into fifty. All right, I'm bringing you guys back. We only need five more scans to complete that objective. I went ahead and placed four more radars and made some more of the steam engines just so I can go by a little quicker. And we have gone attacked quite a few times and I have had to fix our little our machines with our little repair pack. All we have to do is go up to them and highlight them with the repair pack and just hold down left click and that will fix everything. Alright, so there we go. Sector scan complete. Small shipwreck located to the southeast. Alright, it's time to explore that area. Oh, nice. Alright, let's go ahead and next level that. Tips and tricks. Furnaces can smelt stone into stone bricks and iron plate into steel once researched. Alright. How many of these tips are going to pop up? Yeah. Let's just, let's just stick with one. Ooh. This is quite a bit of stuff. Sector scan complete. The radar has detected a distress beacon, but the signal is extremely weak. Right, based on the attenuation, attenuation of the signal, the source must be over 200 kilometers away. It looks like the signal strength is dropping. Going on foot would take far too long. If we want to track the source, I will need a faster method of transportation. Where do we... I'm guessing that word I couldn't pronounce is the frequency of waves like the radar signal waves that get that we detect first I should research something to help protect myself from the enemies craft and build a lab oh wow there's a lot of stuff here where's the lab at boiler steam engine offshore electric pump stone is this a lab lab 36 Iron plates. Alright, so this is a lot of stuff. So let's see what's going on. These are iron plates. Iron plates are being go are going into assembling machines. Why? And are being made into tracks. We have a ton of iron plates there. Looks like coal is not keeping this stuff full. Right? So what's the point of doing that? Um, what we might want to do right off the bat is go ahead and make an iron chest. And with one of these, I want to just only pick up the... Wow. Alright, so it looks like let's just go ahead and do this right here. Is this the right way? No, it's the wrong way. But we can flip these. And then go ahead and place our iron chest right there. It needs power. Do we have? Yeah, we do. Here we go. And we did flip this one on accident. Right? Yeah, here we go. Alright, so that's going to give us a little coal. So let's come up here and throw that coal in there. Alright, so let's take a look around. What was that? A turret. Looks like it still has ammo. I couldn't figure out how to make the ammo in the last area we were at. What is this? Stone brick. And a drill. Electric mining drill. Pins mining. Okay. And what's in here? Gun turret. Oh, I see. You just take these. Alright, that makes more sense. Okay, so boiler. 
and just seeing what's connected and what's not. So it looks like we can take that steam engine, go ahead and just turn it over like this. And bring the piping over too. Let's just go ahead and do that. There we go. That's more power provided to us. Alrighty. So there's that. Okay. What is this? Another boiler. Alright, so what do we need for the lab again? Let's check real quick. Looks like we can go ahead and build one of them. Nice. Oh wow, we have a lot of copper plate too, huh? And let's go ahead and pick up our lab and place that lab near power source, it looks like. Let's go ahead and move this real quick. This lamp. Place it right there. Labs will consume science packs and use them to research the selected technology. Technologies need a certain number of science packs to be completed, so using more labs will speed up your research as long as you feed them with science packs. Alright, so looks like we're going to want to make one of these and connect them with power. Alright, and use labs to research stone walls, open the technology screen using T key. Start research. Zero percent. Alright, so that's why we need more of these, I'm guessing. I'm not sure. There we go. Right? I think so. I'm not sure. Okay. Alright, so it looks like there is our tutorial. It's just going to be more of this stuff. So this is where we're going to end the episode. I'm going to go ahead and complete the tutorial, the tutorial on my own. I just wanted us to get a good idea of what the game's about before we dive in it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you guys on episode 2. Bye!